a quick tribute to Martin Balsam, uh, an addendum, if you will, to my Breakfast at Tiffany's review. You probably don't know him, but he's one of the best parts of three massively important films to me, Twelve Angry Men, Psycho, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. He has lots of other credits too, but just check out these three clips. First, The Detective in Psycho, a movie that infamously offsets its heroine in the first 30 minutes, and then introduces Balsam as the hero to replace her, and immediately kills him too. This movie don't care who it kills. Okay, the weird Spike Lee-esque tracking shot is 100% Hitchcock, but Balsam sells it all with his clearly clueless entry into the Bates house. He may not see his death coming, but oh, we do. And that is thanks to Balsam. The shower scene, of course, is more famous, but there's something even more terrifying when Detective Arbogast gets murdered. He just looks like he can't believe it's happening, and the killer has to run down the stairs to finish him off. Next is the slimy agent, O.J. Berman, in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now you got yourself stuffed, huh, Polly, baby? <laughs> Since you're my big mouth. Just watch him move in on this woman who's out of his league. Buongiorno. Huh? Aren't you drinking? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You got pockets there or something? <laughs> Genius. His flirting patter is up there with Groucho Marx or Bing Crosby. What do you go by? Hmm? What's your name? What's your name? What do you call yourself? Irving. Oh, yeah. Perfect, perfect. That's wonderful, Irving. Step right back, Irving, baby. Mm -hmm. And it's no shock that he gets caught later on with Irving making out in the bathtub. But my very favorite Martin Balsam scene is his improvised monologue in Twelve Angry Men. He's watching a rainstorm alongside Henry Fonda, and he acts circles around Fonda in one of Fonda's top five films. The dude doesn't even have a name, he just has a near incomprehensible reminiscence about high school football games that he coached once. Look at that come down, will you? You know, this reminds me of a storm we had last, mm, it was like November, I don't know, something. It was, it was quite a storm we had there, it was right in the middle of a game. Uh, we were behind uh, seven to six, but we just started to move the ball in right up, right up tackle. I started to cut right in, slash you, and slash right in, cut it right through. And um, <laughs> we had this kid slattery. You know? It was an ox, a real ox. I wish I had another one just like him. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm the uh, assistant head coach at the uh, Andrew J. McCorkle High School. Oh, yeah, that's not clean. Mm -hmm. And, uh, anyway, starting to move along real nice. You know, the whole line is just, it, just coming apart. And it starts to come down, cats and dogs, just like this. Just whoosh, right down. Well, that was murder, you know? I swear, I, I, I nearly bawled him. Just, we couldn't go nowhere. You know? There's no reason why Detective Arbogast, or Juror Number 1, or O.J. Berman should be memorable in movies when they're surrounded by very memorable characters. And to Balsam's credit, they aren't. You probably don't come out of Psycho thinking, wow, did you see how that guy walked up the stairs? Or in Twelve Angry Men saying, oh, the rain monologue, for your consideration. But the Academy, for once, did notice. Balsam, who studied under Lee Strasberg, did get an Oscar, and he retired to Italy for a quiet end of his career, which was well-deserved. Hats off to this dude.